the state of Texas's newest college football program will begin playing football in 2025 and should be a fun school to watch. That school is the University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley, which is located by the U.S.-Mexico border. The University of Texas Rio Grande Valley recently purchased their football stadium, is expected to have some of the best facilities at the FCS level, and just signed their first recruiting class this past recruiting cycle. This is the story of the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley football. This is the story of Texas's newest Division I college football program. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football and spring league football content like this, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, let me know what college football program you are most excited to watch over the next few seasons in the comments section below. University of Texas Rio Grande Valley is located about 300 miles south of the University of Texas in Austin and sits on the edge of the U.S.-Mexico border in southern Texas. The Texas legislation created the school in 2013 and had its first enrolled classes in the fall of 2015. The University of Texas Pan American and UT Brownsville transitioned their sports teams to UT RGV in 2015. Texas Brownsville students were allowed to keep their scholarships even if they decided not to continue their sports under the new school. The University of Texas Brownsville's president, Juliette Garcia, told the media, It was important to me that we honor our commitment to our student-athletes and that they have the opportunity to continue their education at UT Rio Grande Valley with the support they were promised. During this transition, our focus remains on building a better future by establishing the new university I have no doubt we will also create a first-class athletic program that the entire Rio Grande Valley can support. Originally, the school was not supposed to sponsor football due to neither school combining sponsoring the sport, but after six years, the school announced they would explore creating a football program to participate at the FCS level. They would have their students vote on whether they wanted to bring in a football team, and the students voted yes. The original plan was to have the school begin playing football in 2024, as a member of the WAC conference, but they have since decided to postpone that until 2025. In December of 2022, Dave Campbell's Texas Football would report that the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley had found their first ever football coach, choosing to hire Travis Bush, who was originally from Portland, Texas, just outside Corpus Christi. Bush finished as an All-American football player in high school, would be recruited to play wide receiver at Texas State, graduating in 2000. After his playing career, Bush would go on to become an assistant at San Marcos High School, coaching under his father before becoming a graduate assistant at TCU in 2001. In 2004, Bush returned to Texas State, where he would become their wide receivers coach before being named co-offensive coordinator and associate head coach in 2007. While he was the wide receiver coach, Texas State reached the 2005 NCAA Division I AA National Semifinals. He helped Texas State finish 8-5, making it the school's fifth winning season over the 23 years. Texas State also claimed the Southland Conference Championship, and Bush's offense ranked fifth in the NCAA Division I FCS. The following year, they would go 7-5. In 2001, Larry Coker would bring Bush in to serve as his offensive coordinator at the startup Texas San Antonio football program. After the 2011 season, Bush would take the running back coaching position at Houston. After an embarrassing 30-13 season opening loss to Texas State in 2012, Mike Nesbitt resigned and Travis would be promoted to offensive coordinator, handling play-calling duties and coaching the quarterback position under head coach Tony Levine. Bush had played for Levine at Texas State when he was the wide receivers coach. In 2013, he would take on the role of associate head coach as well. Unfortunately, after a 21-17 record, and three bowl game appearances, the whole coaching staff was relieved of their duties after Levine was let go by Houston. Bush would spend the 2015 season with the Buffalo Bills of the NFL, serving as an offensive assistant before serving as head coach of Seguin High School and Canyon High School. Bush plans to use what he learned during the inaugural season at UTSA when he was offensive coordinator to help build Rio Grande heading into their first season. University of Texas Rio Grande Valley announced they would also spend $30 million to build new football facilities, including a 48,000-square-foot performance center with a weight room, two practice fields with one field being covered, team meeting rooms, office space, and a sports medicine facility, which they hope is all operational by the summer of 2025. During the spring of 2023, excitement around the football program began to build 
even before they had unveiled their uniforms. Bush was working a thousand different things all at once as he built his program from scratch. The students have been embracing the program as well, even voting to increase their athletic fee to cover the new additions to the school. Athletic Director Chassie Conkey told CBS Ken's 5 News, It starts and stops with our student body, so having their support was really important. We've had more students voting than the people voting in the mayoral election in Rio Grande Valley. The fans from the area are also embracing the school as well. As of May of 2023, they had already sold nearly 2,000 season tickets. In February of 2024, they purchased HEB Park, which was once the home of Rio Grande Valley FC Toros of the United Soccer League. The soccer team would cease operations in December of 2023. The school decided to purchase the stadium, which was built in 2017. The University of Texas Rio Grande Valley would rename the stadium after longtime donors Robert and Janet Fackers last week. The stadium has a capacity of nearly 10,000 and boasts 20 acres of festival grounds, including an amphitheater that seats an additional 2,500 people. President Guy Bailey said back in February, the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley Stadium gives both our community and football program immediate access to premier facilities, while also providing additional possibilities for our university. It's located off Expressway 281, also ensures convenient access for our fans as well as visitors who make their way into the valley for games. The stadium has a state-of-the-art 43 by 24 foot LED video board as well as 30 luxury and 8 patio suites. As of February, the school had sold nearly 3,000 season tickets. Bush spoke on the stadium purchase saying, This has been the goal since day one and is the final puzzle piece for the football team. This stadium adds to our facilities that are under construction as being best in our conference at the top of the FCS football, which will only help us continue to recruit top talent to the university. It will be the perfect college football environment for the Rio Grande Valley, and we can't wait to see it packed with fans wearing orange. With how things are going, the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley is expecting sellout crowds for their 10,000-seat stadium come 2025, which will be some of the best facilities at the FCS level. During the 2024 recruiting class, the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley signed 41 athletes in their first recruiting class, with 10 signing during the early signing period. All 51 players on the 2024 Valley squad are Texas high school football products. 50 of the 51 are freshmen, and 7 are from the Rio Grande Valley. They also plan to host tryouts for the team to get up to 70 players in a few weeks. Bush told the media, to be able to sit here and be able to name so many young men that want to be a part of this program is phenomenal. There's always a lot of questions starting something like this from scratch and a lot of unknowns. We're happy about the number of young men that are already signed up to be a part of this program and the quality of the student athletes that are signing with us. The Vaqueros will conduct their practice season in 2024 before officially kicking off NCAA Division I FCS football in August 2025. With no upperclassmen on the roster at this point, Bush focuses on finding players that could step into leadership roles, serve as the upperclassmen leaders as freshmen over the next few years. You remembered back at UTSA that it was one of the things they didn't always consider when putting together that early roster. There are no older players to learn from. The coaching staff has also focused on recruiting their backyard. Originally, Texas Rio Grande Valley was supposed to play in the returning WAC conference, but with conference realignment, the WAC and A-Sun would combine to form the United Athletic Conference. But last week, they would inform the WAC that they would be leaving for the Southland Conference, paying the $2 million exit fee according to ESPN. Rio Grande Valley has been tied to the WAC since 2013 when the school joined the league when it was known as the University of Texas Pan America. The Southland would make more sense for the school when it comes to geographical rivals with the conference including A&M Corpus Christi, Lamar, and Texas A&M Commerce. The University of Texas Rio Grande Valley leaves a league that includes Grand Canyon, Seattle University and Utah Valley. The Vaquero play an exhibition season this fall and should be a fun school to watch come the 2025 season. What do you think? Will the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley find early football success? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and as always, remember to embrace the grind.